meet their demographics, you tend to give up. I wish people would quit touting this as a legit job for everyone. It's BS. And I said, well, that is very negative. <laughs> TJ didn't give up. She uses this as a legit way to make money every month. That's not BS for her, her family, or her retirement. I usually don't like clap back that like that, but that guy. What do you think? So the, the difference between me and that person is that I'm persistent. I didn't go – if I had – started in my first hour and I got 10 little rejections on user testing, I never would have made any money. So you just have to be persistent. You can't go, well, they rejected me twice. I quit. I mean, that's like a toddler. You, you, you have to, there is some sunk cost in there where you have to spend the time to make the money. You have yeah. to spend some time filling out screeners in this particular kind of work. You have to spend the time. How There are also, but let me tell you, there are hundreds of companies out there where you don't have to spend the time doing screeners, where you get hired on to do transcriptions, for example, or to do other little tasks at um, at uh, there's a, a lots of little micro task companies out there. So that yeah. once you're in, once you pass their little test, you're going to get lots of little jobs that you don't have to fill out screeners for. Yeah. So it's just if a, that's it's not just your thing, then don't it's do it. A self-defeating way to look at it. Robin, can these jobs be done on a tablet or does it need to be on a laptop? So I do 95% of the work on my uh, laptop. Sometimes they actually want you to use your phone. D-Scout is 99% phone, in fact. Um, and I don't, I, I'm not really a tablet person. I'm sure that there are some jobs that you can do on a tablet, but I'm not 100% sure. The best way would be to sign up and find out. For every job listing in there... It's going to tell you the requirements, what they're looking for, how they pay, when they pay, and a link to apply. I know I'm not trying to get everyone to go over to the book, but look, just because I wrote the book, I can tell you a lot of companies do allow you to use a tablet. You just have to find the ones that work for you. Okay, ready? Next one. Yes. Um, can you ask TJ um, if you do it as a side hustle and you have another job, what happens if an interview comes in when you're at your other job? So when you sign up to do an interview, you you um, you pick an, a schedule that works for you. They'll give you they'll tell you what openings are left. And if something works for me, fine. If not, then I don't do that particular interview. To recap, age matters sometimes, but not all the time. As a self-employed person, yes, you have to pay your taxes, but contact your accountant because it depends on your tax bracket. Don't be scared. I've been doing it for years. Um, all kinds of companies work for all kinds of different people and different kinds of devices. And this is legit. This is not some BS thing. I don't do BS. Hey, everybody. I am in an RV in a storm. And so my Wi-Fi connection is not the best. And so TJ actually got knocked out of our meeting. So I want to say thank you very much to her for taking her time twice now to help people understand how to make money online. But now I'm going to talk to people that have my book or are looking for the book because there are some scammers out there. Now, I have two nonfiction books that are both updated all the time. One is Be a Nomad, Change Your Life, and the other one is Work From Home While You Roam. Now, look at this screenshot. If you go into Amazon, and you look at the books, you're going to see if there is an update available down below the book. Now, my work from home copy was already updated. So you can see it here below, be a nomad, change your life. All you do is click the button and it updates it. I spoke with Kindle this morning and they are sending an email to everybody that purchased the book telling them that an updated version is being pushed into their device. Now, if you don't have automatic updates, you're going to have to do it yourself. And if it doesn't work, look down in the comments below, pinned at the top or in the description. I'm going to give you a link for you to go in and update the book. I am not trying to get people to repurchase the book. One of the benefits of the book is that it is updated once or twice a year all the links are redone and the jobs are vetted and you have access to the new information. So that should work for everybody. Otherwise, it's like you have an e-reader, you're looking online, you're looking on your phone, you don't know what's updated and what's not, and some people have been having problems. 
For other people that want to know, no, you do not need an e-reader to read the book. You just need the Kindle app or you can read it through your Amazon account. And I get a lot of questions asking if it's in paperback and I'm working on it because I hear you, you want it. But um, to me, you don't get the updated links. <laughs> then you would have to purchase it again every year. But I am doing that for you guys. So look at um, in the 2025 edition that will come out in paperback. Now, people, let me talk to you about the freaking scammers. I had a comment that said, I saw your book, but the author's name was different. It is like whack-a-mole, you guys. When you go over to Amazon, what you want to look for is my book that has a green banner on the top that says 2024 edition that has 1,700 plus reviews and is 4.6 stars. If you scroll down now, you're going to see a whole bunch of other people that stole the title um, or they tried to get AI make an audiobook for them. And you can see they have one, two, three reviews and they're like one star, two stars, because maybe their mom gave them a review. There is nothing I can do about that. Um, I could pursue a copyright violation with Amazon, but it takes a long time. And all I can do is hope that people that read my book and like the book go in and give those other people one star and then hopefully they go away. Like this lady who literally took a screenshot of my artwork on my cover um, that is original and tried to recreate my book, except for that she spelled entrepreneur wrong at the top and she has some pretty bad reviews. The link to my book is down below. Again, I want to thank TJ for coming and talking to us again. I know it's tough if you've never been self-employed before to tackle something like this, but you can do it. There is lots of money to be made out there remotely for you and anybody else that might need this information. I get emails from all kinds of people saying this helped me pay off my medical bills. This helped my kids work through college. All kinds of people are using this information to make money. They're not scams. It's real. It's legit. Um, if you have any additional questions, please put them down below. Yes.